Happy Monday, everybody. It's time for another trip to the Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot. Well, this is more like it for a pass holder entrance. That's awesome. Here we go, Epcot for Flower and Garden Festival. It's uh, pretty darn busy here today, as noted by all the people taking photos out in front of the uh, Spaceship Earth. Walked in at 12.42, grabbed a real quick fast pass for 12.50 for living with the land. Let's go do that. You guys remember the other day when we were wearing our jackets? It's hot again. <laughs> it's like in the 80s out here now. Sweating, I forgot to put on sunscreen. Probably gonna get sunburned today. Somebody's writing something in the sky. I think it's gonna be, uh, oh, it looks like they've already done a few different things. Oh, here's a garden that we missed last time called the Pollinator Paradise. It's uh, flowers that attract bees and butterflies. Oh look, there's a bee on that one. It's working. Ooh, this one's called the Seed Sanctuary. How neat is that? This looks like corn. Oh yeah, you can see it, look. This corn is just starting to like, how it sprout? Like happen? When oh, there's tomatoes here? This is interesting. This is a tobacco plant. Wow. And it's in the Health and Healing Garden? What? And why is pineapple? Oh, pineapple helps with inflammation. Thyme is an antifungal. Did it say what it was? Poppy is a pain reliever. It just says medicine production. That's weird, right? Trust JT? <gasps> Justin Timberlake. Oh, uh... I never noticed their designs on their shirts here at Living with the Land. By the way, I'm getting on Living with the Land. Your Holy macaroni, there's a lot of leg room in here. Plus, I get the whole road to myself. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. They have a display out here for the behind the seeds tour. Pretty cool. Looks like they're doing some construction on the up escalator here in the land pavilion. A little trail right here called the backyard habitat. It's kind of cool looking. Like I guess this is stuff you can plant in your backyard to have more of a like wildlife presence in your backyard. Last time I was here, I didn't think they were actually gonna put compost in the bins, but they are. Stopped off at Urban Farm Eats to get the seared pork tenderloin that everybody told me was so good. Here's my pork tenderloin. Looks okay. It kind of looks a little bit like grayish white. You guys were right. That pork tenderloin was good. It was very strange though. It felt kind of like it was like very over tenderized, like almost like pulled pork or separated pork that was put back together again. You know what I mean? I didn't notice these beehives here last time. You guys remember last time we were showing off the eggs, like the different colored eggs and this chicken coop, but I didn't notice the beehives. Check out all of these topiaries. You got Bambi, you got Thumper, you got Flower, you got Adam the Woo. That's right, everybody. Adam the Woo is here. Oh, he's still am a topiary. Allowed to You're allowed to move now. You told me not to move. I actually am met I... up with him like 10 minutes ago and I've been waiting for a topiary. So I, can, like... I can move now? Too? Yeah. But he's been standing here for 10 minutes, perfectly still, pretending to be a topiary. You were trying to text me and I was gonna check my phone, but I couldn't because he told me not to move. So I've just been standing there for literally, like he said, 10 minutes. Thanks for showing up, finally. You're welcome, you're welcome. Almost over to France, and if you look just out here over the lagoon, you can see some of the launch tubes for illuminations. So if you want a really loud view of illuminations, watch it over here from France. The Taste of Marrakesh, I think I'm gonna get this sausage here. I don't know, I'm gonna get another sausage because Bart Scott wants me to get the hot hot dog. I'm gonna try it too. This one's supposed to be spicy as well. Think anybody just like walks up and's like, mmm, a tomato. I'll just have one of those, please. I got my little sausage and some chocolate baklava. And then Adam got some falafel. Look at that thing. This sausage is a, is a little teeny tiny sausage. But this baklava, yes please. That looks so good. I hope they don't call them falafels for a reason. Because they're gonna make you awful falafels. Oh, I thought it was because they were gonna make you full. Mmm, it's good, right? That's a spicy sausage. So I just had that spicy hot dog sausage thing. It was probably the spiciest thing in Epcot. I didn't think you would get anything spicy because they try to keep everything mostly bland here, but that little hot sausage was very hot. Baklava, so good. It's one of like the best baklavas I've ever had. Uh, it was a little bit like syrupy. It stuck to my plate, it was still good. I like how gently she's hitting that drum. It was one of the topiaries that I missed last time, Lady in the Tramp. 
Feel good. Adam stopped off at Primavera Kitchen to get the anto anti pasto, but then I saw the meatball parmesan there. I'm gonna give that a try. It looks good. Holy cow! Look at those meatballs. They look so good. And then this is your anti pasto. It looks okay. I mean, it's not as good as mine. Of course, but uh, it's okay. Those were some of the best meatballs I've ever had in a theme park. They were so juicy and succulent. Like, I want to have more of those meatballs. Where can I get, is there, a, like, do they serve these specific meatballs anywhere in Italy in Epcot? Because I would eat there for dinner all the time. Although I don't like pasta, and I'm glad that these meatballs didn't come with any pasta. It was just meatballs, sauce, and cheese. That's what I want. That's like my ideal Italian dinner. Just meatballs, that's it. Look at this flag. Like, it's a dog? dressed in his swim trunks, ready to go to the beach. That is amazing. Everybody's here in front of the China Pavilion taking photos with the pandas. Nobody's taking photos with this guy. I feel bad for him. He's just here having fun, looking up at the sky and playing with bamboo. Somebody playing the marimba over here at uh, Mexico. I've never seen anybody play the marimba out here. They took down the no climbing signs at the Mexico Pavilion. Getting ready to go on Grand Fiesta Tour. Quite a long line. Very popular today. Taking a quick trip on the Grand Fiesta Tour. This entire boat ride, we're just searching for Donald Duck, and here these kids are beating the heck out of him. I like this shirt that's available down in the Mexico Pavilion. Fiesta, siesta, repeat. There's an optical illusion photo pass here where you stand and then they take your photo and it makes it look like you're floating on the butterflies. And we're waiting in line now, so we'll get a picture of it. I'll put that picture in right now. Camera noise. We're gonna go ride Journey into Imagination with Figment. But first, the best bathrooms in Epcot. Are we Captain EO afterwards? Yeah, sure. What were you saying about the bathrooms? These are the best bathrooms in Epcot. Why? Because they're nice and private. I heard, here's an inside tip. I'm acting like I don't know, but I really know. But they play all the original loop music from old school Epcot in these restrooms all day long. Yeah. We're inside the Imagination Institute. Look at this little security TV they've got on the reception desk. Be the spark you wish to see in the, what? Time to get on the ride. It's about listening with your imagination. Can taste laps. Perhaps I what is Figment doing? He's like doing the Macarena. Great idea. Imagination. This is the heart of all creation. Check out this flower and garden festival pot. It's pretty awesome. I almost dropped it. Oh look, there's a Mickey right there. It is $14.99. Getting on the seas with Nemo and friends. We're just two big guys in a tiny shell. Is that a Chris Farley song? I can't believe you guys are looking for Nemo. He's literally right there. We found him right over. Oh, scary. That's a real shark. You guys ready to get a song stuck in your head? Walking over to the Coral Reef restaurant. We have a reservation at 5.30, but we're gonna see if we can get in early. We're inside of the Coral Reef restaurant front lobby. Some free water there for you to get. It's nice lemon water. And we bumped our reservation forward, so now we're just waiting for our table to become available. Oh, this is so romantic, Adam. So in this time frame, we're actually gonna be having a 500 pound Australian stingray visiting us. Oh, this is the stingray she was telling us about on the way in. Oh, and the shark. They, they look like they're best friends. Look at that cow nose ray just like gliding down towards us. Ooh. Look at that. That was crazy. We're sitting here trying to have a conversation and I'm just enamored with our waiter. No, with, uh, with, with sorry. We're just, <laughs> we're just sitting here having a like, nice conversation but every time that Adam says something I end up turning and looking away because I'm so enamored with the fish tank. It's so mesmerizing to watch it.
I got the chicken breast. I have no idea what this stuff is on top, but it looks pretty darn good. And Adam got the shrimp and grits. That is some good looking shrimp and grits right there. Chicken's a little bit dry. The bacon really helps. And then there's a polenta cake underneath. That's actually really good. Heading out now, I'm glad that we bumped our reservation forward because there's a lot more people here now for the 5.30 time. So all in all, my chicken was about $24. Fantastic food. Like the food was delicious. The ambiance was amazing. I would, even That's if the food part. was bad, I would eat there again because it was so the nice in there. Bad. The food wasn't bad. My chicken was a little bit dry, like a little tiny bit, but like the, there was bacon in it, that's what it made up for it, and the polenta cake made up for it too. So, I don't know, I feel like this is like gonna be my go-to restaurant here at Epcot. So good. My shrimp, what did I have, the shrimp? Shrimp and grits. And grits, it was $30. Oh. And I think it, the portion could have been a little bit bigger. Just a oh, little yeah, bit, a yeah, little yeah. bit bigger portion. But I'm pretty full though, so maybe they know something I don't know. <laughs> I would have eaten more, so in all in all it worked out. And we excellent. looked at the desserts and there wasn't anything that really like struck our fancy. I don't know, there was like a raspberry chocolate thing. I don't want any of that stuff. Just noticed this stitch topiary outside of Mouse Gear. It's awesome looking. One last stop before we leave, we're gonna go into the festival center over here at uh, the former. <laughs> Wonders of Life Pavilion. Sorry, I forgot the name of the Wonders of Life Pavilion. Oh, you know what? Me... Wait a second, sad trombone moment. Oh no. They're closed, Tim. We gotta go show that you sign. You told me though. they were open. I didn't say it was open. You I said, said Let's hey. go. I said, is, the, is it open? You said, definitely a thousand percent. No, you said, is Ellen still here? I said, yeah, she's I right, did. She's I right there. Did. I did ask about Ellen. <laughs> so Ellen's here, but not, no. not that pavilion. The Fab Five topiaries, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, and Donald over there. We came over to see the Festival Center and it is not open right now. Open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Not today. Quick question for you though. This Goofy is the ice skating Goofy, right? And he's just now holding a potted plant behind him? Why? What? Are we reusing a topiary? The Buzz Lightyear topiary over here. It's weird because comparatively, he's a lot smaller than the Woody topiary. Look at this backdrop with Buzz Lightyear. You guys remember when I was asking about these birdhouses? Turns out it's for the purple martins. And they are here to eat all kinds of flying insects. Kerchow! Who's this guy? Maybe I haven't seen enough Cars movies. This is Cruz Ramirez. I kind of like his look better than Lightning McQueen. He's cool looking. You guys remember when we were looking at him while he was still being made, put together? Spaceship Earth says it's a 15 minute wait. So let's see if we can get on it. Thanks, Phoenicians. Oh no, we can't see the moon landing on the TV. Dang. Please remain seated. We'll resume our journey shortly. Thank you. Welcome to the future. Or should I say, <laughs> your future. Extreme sports adventures. <laughs> Skiing buddies. We're pretty awesome still. Oh, we're going off a cliff. Oh, that's dangerous. You're getting pitted, bro. <laughs> getting pitted. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, you hurt your arm. Oh, a dog's gonna save my arm. <laughs> well, what's she doing? She's rearranging your arm. What the heck? How did she get inside my arm? Hot chocolate. Yeah. Do I have boobs? <laughs> Or is it? Oh. That's our future together, Tim. I love it. We just got off Spaceship Earth and over here by Guest Relations, there's a mailbox. You can mail your mail from Epcot. As I'm walking back to the car, there's an Amphicar here. Like, this is not one of the ones from Disney Springs. This is somebody's Amphicar that they drove down here to Disney. What was your name? How cool is that? That's amazing. It was a fantastic trip to Epcot. Flower and Garden Festival does not disappoint. All the food that I had today there was amazing, so good. And Coral Reef Restaurant, A plus. A number one in my book. I wanna eat there way more often. So with that being said, and with Epcot in the background, I will see you guys tomorrow. And right now it's time to pay the price.